your sorrows will pass away, as they all do, as they all do. Your sorrows tend to wash away with the rain, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean?
made you some raviolis. I made I made some car raviolis, some road raviolis. Did y'all eat it already? Did y'all eat all those road raviolis yet? I hope not. I made 37 pounds. If y'all ate all those raviolis already, I bought I thought it'd be great to just have some nice cold ravioli, cold ravioli, nice finger food, nice finger food, nice nice cold raviolis. Yes, I toasted them. I did toast them. Of course, I toasted. I know how you like it. I know you love those toasted raviolis. But made sure, made sure to cold chill them down in the refrigerator first. Made sure to chill those raviolis down, those toasted raviolis down. Oh, thank you, Blue. Thank you, Blue, for the bits. Thank you, Blue. Appreciated that so much. And didn't make a nugget. Didn't make a nugget. Oh, yes. 
last time today, last time today, we're heading on over to Grandma's summer home, uh, your Grandma's summer home. I think that's quite bougie of her to have a summer home, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool at the same time. Now, as you can see, I did, I did get a nice seat upgrade for our, for our little vehicle here, for our little monster truck, a uh, monster truck that we drive in. But, you know, having a monster truck really uh, changes the way a lot of people interact with you on the road. Dig, 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 dig. A lot of people are, uh, you know, they're a little bit concerned about whether you might be just going to go right over them, you know. But I always obey.
people look at me and they say, I see, I see a, uh, I see a young Michael Sarah when I look at you. I say, uh, you're too kind to put it. That doesn't seem accurate, but they say, no, no, it's true, it's true. And then I say, well, okay, if you say so, if you say, if you say I look like a young Michael Sarah, I'd say, okay, okay, I guess so, I'll accept it. Now I'd say, you know, other people, they're like, hey, I think you might be more like a George Clooney, but I'm um, like, uh, I already got the one compliment, please. I think one compliment is more than enough, okay? It's okay, it's okay. But, uh, what, you know, whatever, it's okay, it's okay. You know, uh, it's funny that I did say, uh, young Michael Sarah because the thing is is that he is not that old yet. He is he's kind of, he's kinda of like older for sure, but he looks but like virtually the same. He kinda of has that permanent like young child boy face. I don't I don't know how he did that. Perhaps it's moisturizer, perhaps he has a curse placed upon him. He could have some elvish blood inside of him much like Aragorn, prevented him from aging in the way that most people would. I think maybe that is likely, and I believe that, you know, until I see otherwise, that Michael Sarah might have a little bit of that Aragorn, half-elf sort of magic, something like that. I don't, I don't rightly recall what, what was the deal with Aragorn, why he was, was it because he was it because he was half elf or was it because he like had some sort of magic special item? I don't remember. Y'all, y'all only know that the, you know, the J.R.R. Tolkien body of work may be a little bit more better than I do or have the, the Wikipedia at the ready probably could be able to tell me better than I could, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be quite safe for me to put the wheel down and go Google such information. Oh, but I know, I know y'all hate when your dad just goes off on rants about J.R. Tolkien. You know, I know y'all are all about that George R. R. Martin kind of, kind of old that we're talking about. And I'm like, listen, he's never gonna finish that. He's never gonna finish that Game of Thrones, okay? Stop expecting him to. I know it seems like he might get to it one day, but Honestly, honestly, he's putting out a video game before he's gonna finish that. He's putting out that Elden, Elden Ring, you know. And then he's talking about it. talking about doing video games with uh, the Dark Souls people. And I'm like, come on, come on, are you even gonna write that thing? Are you even gonna write that thing? Uh, anyway, anyway, glad y'all like elves. Glad y'all like elves. Those D and D. D&D Elves, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons. Did y'all see that they're doing a uh, that Dungeons and Dragons set in Magic the Gathering? Now you know you know you're dead. Uh, before Fortnite, before Fortnite was uh, the primary game your dad played. He loved it. He loved Magic the Gathering. So that that is very relevant to, to your dad's interests. Because while there is no chug jug, Magic the Gathering still is pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Anyway, let's see, let's let's see what's going on in that podcast. Uh, that podcast we are listening to. I think uh, I think the volume is a little bit low. The volume's a little bit low, but uh, I don't know, let's check it out. Let's check it out.
everything's okay. Your dad is back. The dinosaur has exited to the vehicle. Do not worry. Do not worry. I have defeated the dinosaur and I punched him in the face. And do you know that dinosaurs hate that sort of thing? Dinosaurs get punched in the face, they say. How oh, dang they have been watching. session with a with like a group before like they never 
never had a second session ever. Like, I've, I've had a lot of first sessions of D&D where it's like you, you kind of like set stuff up and you're like, all right, let's try. Now you're in a town and there's like a goblin or something like that. And usually how that goes is it's like there is um, a lot of rolling dice and uh, trying to attack a little goblin but uh, missing and other people are trying to attack a goblin and they're missing and then um then it gets to be like four hours later and everybody's like all right i'm done and then you never talk to them again and that's usually how my experiences with the dungeons and dragons go so i have never really gotten to invest Francisco, the 
I mean, San Francisco, finally somebody is creating, some, somebody is creating low income cost housing in San Francisco. You did it. The government and the land developers could not. Word trace for Hina lead. Hina lead. All right. You got it. Don't you worry. Hina lead. You said you had a big day today. 
it said you had a big day today. I hope that you worked on those those art projects. I'll be working on that over those art projects that we will today. You know, I'm so proud of you working on all those art projects. You take on so much. I think that you, I think that you gotta take it easy because you work so hard. And clearly you must be if you fell asleep right, right in the middle of the conversation when I was having, we were talking about really interesting stuff, you know. Oh, you finished one. Congratulations. I'm proud of you for that. I'm proud of you for that. I bet it looks great. I bet it looks wonderful. Hina says, yeah, it's a bit different. I'm probably talking about the, the Osaka accent.
a little bit salty about that. He's always been a little bit salty about that. And he always has people calling him Peter because he prefers Pete. But his birth name is Pete. They went for the casual. They went for the casual one. It'd be like if, like, uh, your name was, like, Jeffrey. If you're Jeffrey. But then on your birth certificate, they put, just put J. They put J, the letter J. Then you're like, that's your name. Your name is the letter J, not Jeffrey. Okay, so we want, we want some, you know, the whispers. We want the word trace. Thank you for following Fabian, 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 Fabian.
I read, I read your comment down there as I was speaking. You don't have work this summer. That is great. That is wonderful. I am great. Um, I am happy about that. I am happy about that. The fruitful sun, lurking, lurking. Good night. Good night. Fruitful sun. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You'll have to tell me who that really great ASMR streamer you found is called. I'm interested to know.
buttons and I'll say I'll say I like this channel thank you very much and I'll say I don't like this channel no thank you very much Caso would like to talk about a cutting curtains to clear the camera cutting curtains a
Oh, roast nut. Roast nut. That is a great piece of advice. And that, uh, that is exactly why I was asking.
I gotta be honest, I might look that up after the stream. The car ride, what did I say? I didn't say anything.
because it's more of an issue for Dan from Hellzone, but I thought that a fun kind of kind of reward for all of us if we get to 50 subscriptions in addition to a new emote was that if we had an extra stream day in the week, I thought to add an extra day every week, doing one extra stream per week would be a nice way to have us all kind of celebrate having 50 subscribers. Do y'all think that's a cool idea? Do y'all think that's a cool idea? Or do you think that's kind of like, eh, hey, whatever, I don't care. Oh, HD says to be very pog, very pog. All right, HD's pogging on to that idea. Well, that's good. I thought it was pretty pog myself. I thought that would be nice because, you know, it's like, it's additional work, right, for me. But also, y'all would be you know, supporting and helping, and so it'd be a nice way to show my, my, my thanks to all y'all. Oh, you say it's a great idea. Hey there, Scarlet. Hey there, Scarlet. Hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the car ride. Welcome to the car ride. Um, yeah, so I was thinking it would be like Thursday. Thursday. I'm thinking that way it's like I would have a day off Tuesday and on Saturday. So it's kind of split a little bit, split a bit, I think that might be good, that's good, I'm glad, I'm glad I've been able to help y'all sleep, by the way, that is probably my favorite part, well, okay, it's my second favorite part, my favorite part is getting to talk to all y'all, my second favorite part is knowing that I help you sleep better, you know, so, in a ranked list, still top three though, that's pretty good. Scarlet, I know you're a uh, Texas, you're a Texas gal. And I was talking about uh, where people think my dialect might be from. And some people have been saying Texas, people have been saying Texas. How do you feel about, uh, about Texas, about my, my dialect? Like that's accurate, or do you feel like it's like kind of like bogus, where it's like maybe this is just from nowhere actually? Why are why are the holes in cat's fur always in the right places for their eyes? Why are the holes in cat's fur always in the right places for their eyes? I mean, do you mean like in the pattern, or do you mean like literally like why do they not have hair in front of their eyes? Do I say the answer to that question is probably like because they would just not be able to see that way, right? Um, but if you're talking about like the pattern, the pattern, um, I thought it was always like a thing, like like all animals always have like the patterns around their eyes because it helps ward off predators because it makes them see, appear bigger, right? It makes them pe appear like their eyes are bigger. I think that was always like the prevailing logic when I was a kid. I was reading about those sorts of things that they said they had to, it would make it, like all the other animals would be like oh shit they got big eyes they got big eyes they must be scary I got to stay away from them uh, I think that's what I always heard that's why so many animals have like big color patches around their eyes for that reason there could be another reason for it I don't know maybe it's like just a common ancestor maybe it's a common ancestor that's just been a common trait knows the world is full of mysteries. The world is full of mysteries we can never really truly understand. The machinations, the machinations that are work through evolution. Answer to that. 
is obviously a no because a lion is a cat. A lion is a cat. And dogs and cats do not get along according to the movie Dogs and Cats. Um, and the Dogs and Cats 2, The Revenge of Pussy Glore. No, it was Kitty Glore. It was Kitty Glore because Pussy Glore was too lewd, even though they're talking about a kitty cat. So they changed it to Kitty Glore, I remember. Remember that from the movie Cats and Dogs. Hey there, Jessica. Hey there, Jessica. What's up? What is going on? I'm doing well, subject. We're just on the way to Grandma's house, taking a long drive. Taking a long drive down. Why doesn't the earth fall down? Oh, HD, you are always asking these questions. Well, let me tell you about gravity. Gravity. Now, every object in the entire universe has a gravitational pull. Even, even you. You have a gravitational pull. I've got a gravitational pull. It just so happens that the Earth has a big gravitational pull because it is affected by your mass. And the Earth is way bigger than us. So that's why we are attracted to the Earth. And just like we are attracted to the Earth, the Earth is attracted to the Sun. To the Sun. And the Sun is much bigger than the Earth. And so the gravitational pull of the sun stops the earth from going in any other direction than the orbit it has around the sun. And that, that is the reason for that. Now if you wanted to know a different question that I've always thought was interesting was that why, why are they all aligned in random? Oh, let's see, we got a trigger word request got a noise water sip and a subject a subject says that you're looking for something to help you fall asleep and this is gonna work great gonna sleep to the stream have a great evening hey subject thank you so much for cheering thank you so much for cheering and i hope you have yourself a great night hope you have yourself a great night now let's do let's do let's do let's do that trick
just watching me, right? I'm just, I'm just sitting here, just sitting here in my car, but somehow I feel like people are watching me. I don't know why I feel like that. Do you ever have that feeling? You know, I don't know where it's coming from, but I just have that sicky suspicion. Somebody is watching me right now. And probably not, but probably not. It's probably just a suspicion I have. Anyway, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do some inaudible whispers. Well, I, I assume you would like actual 
like scratching it, not just like, not just like to be saying the word like scratching, but I could say the word like scratching as a scratch it.
spit it out.
know that, uh, that I am also autistic, right? I assume it's not just like you're just saying that.
list. So I think I'm going to go use the facilities, the facilities, and then I'm going to be right back. 